Welcome to week three of the weekly NFL podcast, which is Chopping Birds. I did that backwards this week. Uh, Good weekend. With your host, Colin Porchop and... Big Bird. And after week two... After week two, the hit we, all, Colin went 10, 5, and 1. Woohoo! Fucking ties, man. Woohoo! Yeah. I don't understand. Ties. What is this, hockey? <laughs> Was a soccer? I went. Ties. I went nine and six and one. Man, college, you go to die. <laughs> uh, Michael went seven, eight and one, and Ashley went seven, eight and one. Okay. Um, it's me and Colin in first place at seventeen, thirteen and two. Jesus. Michael in second, sixteen, fourteen and two, and Ashley in third and well, really fourth at fifteen, fifteen and two. At fifteen, fifteen and two. I don't think I've ever seen two ties in a season. Oh, not back to back. I think I've seen. One, I think a few years ago it was like Philly tied. Philly and, and uh, like some, Arizona tied, and then Seattle tied one year. Oh yeah, it was like, it was like Philly that tied. Yeah, projected them to win the it division. Was like, it was like Washington and a few other teams. Yeah, uh, it was weird. It was. I think it, it, that tie projected them yeah. to win that year over Arizona because Arizona was kind of hot. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's better than a loss. Yeah, so might as well be. Might it's well just be a win. it's just point two five percent of of a win or whatever, but it's it's still. But technically, it could but, be the difference maker. But it's not a loss. But it's not a loss. It's like kissing your sister. All right, so we got a few things we're going to talk about today, Colin. Oh, yeah, definitely a few things we're talking about. I guess we'll start with a little, this is like a little 10-second bit. Yeah. Uh, the Red Rifle. Red Rifle, apparently. Sh- showed up in prime time. Apparently, he's unlocked a new ability, and that is he's to show up in prime time. Freaking, I, I was like, I was, wasn't going to pay attention to the game. I saw it on Facebook, like, that moment when you have uh, AJ Green on your fantasy team, it's like. It's like, a, it's like a smiling, it's like a smiling jip. I was like, "What?" I looked. It was like three touchdowns. Three touchdowns in the first half from the red rifle. Yeah. Ray J Green is like, "What?" Prime time. He showed up finally. Jesus, yeah. didn't think he had it in him. I don't know. I did not think. And they're two and zero. How the hell are they two and zero? Leading that division right now. Probably the last time they were two and zero, they went twelve and four. I was like, "What?" Well, you know. Again, Marvin Lewis is kind of like Jason Garrett. When he's on the hot seat, he'll find a way to win games and save his job another year. Marvin Lewis has been fired, like, what, 10 years ago? Well, he's been their coach since when? Like, like 02 or something 02? like that? 02? Good God. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just Google it. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, you can just ask Google right now. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. What year did Marvin Lewis become the coach of the Cincinnati Bengals? According to Wikipedia, Lewis became the ninth coach in Cincinnati Bengals history on January 14, 2003, 2003. when he was to replace Vic LeBeau, who was fired after the worst season in franchise history in terms of win percentage, edging out Tom Coughlin and Mike Malarkey. There you go. And Mike Malarkey. Tom, <laughs> Tom Coughlin. Really? Interesting. Yeah, Tom Coughlin. But yeah, 03. And not 03? a playoff win no, that man has? not a playoff win between them. Uh, that's, like, that's like the super Garrett. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the Garrett is when I grow up, I want to be Marvin Lewis. <laughs> Have a job for over a decade, not do shit with it. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. Uh, Garrett's halfway there. Well, oh, he has he has one playoff one win on his resume, so he's got one more than Marvin Lewis. Malarkey got one in two years with the Titans to be fired. Bunch of malarkey. Uh, okay, so I guess you wanted to discuss Miami for a minute. I guess. Yeah, my. I guess. Well, I, guess, I, I, guess I guess surprise two and zero in general. It's early. Just so early. So early. How was Cincy? If you were told me Cincinnati and Miami start 2 0 and the. And, Tampa, and, and, and Tampa's 2 0. All three Florida teams are 2 0 right now. Oh, all three of them You're are 2 right. 0. So, and, and the Steelers are 0 2. Uh-oh. I wouldn't believe that. Well, 1 and 0, 1 and 1. <laughs> Sure. They talk. They're winless through two weeks. They are. So currently right now, since he's winning their division. The Browns have as many weird. wins as they do. Um, Miami's leading their division. Technically, we're leading the division because we uh, all every NFC East team lost last week except for the Cowboys. So technically, we're like tied technically with uh, Philly, Philly and but, Washington. But we're still, I think we're still... It's three way tie, it's a three-way and then zero and two with the the Giants. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, they're they're already out of playoff contention, in my opinion. So, <laughs> well, damn. It's just I know it's early, but I mean it, it's just it, it's just amazing to see that some of these teams are already just kicking ass and taking names, and it's like Fitzpatrick. Oh my god, dude! Fitz, did you see his outfit after the game? Oh it was he the, stole it from just he stole, actually stole stole, stole it from, from Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, I thought that was so awkward. Like, D Jack shows up in his underwear and he's yeah. all staring at him like what the fuck? 
bro. I thought it was awesome. And he's like, I stole your stuff. No, and Deshaun Jackson said, like, if, because I think this is the last week of uh, Winston suspension. Yeah. Winston suspension. Who the fuck is James Winston? They said, like, if, he, if they win again, you can't pull for his fast. No, 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 you can't. You can't. You, you, it's, like, it's like the opposite of what happened with Tony Romo. The young guy was doing good, so you kept yeah. the old guy out. And then this the is, old guy. This is the opposite. The oh. old guy is doing good, you keep the young guy out. Well, and then it, apparently Jameis is also is getting charged with something else he did. You know what? This is fine. Man. I don't know what it was in particular, but I was told, Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't want to get that shirt so bad. <laughs> with the Pat McAfee. This is Mark Shot says allegedly. Allegedly. And then there's also a shirt I want to get off of uh, his thing. It's called For the Brand. And that's what he does when people do kicks and punts and stuff like that. He calls it the brand. So, like, when Jeff Heath did it, he's like, for the brand! <laughs> I also want to, I have something I want to talk about. Okay. Dan Bailey. Got something. Dan Bailey might actually get a Super Bowl. Who knows? Hey. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I felt, I felt so bad for the little kicker in Minnesota. He's like, oh, it's okay. Trump, is it good? Bring in Dan Bailey. And fired. Well, apparently, uh, uh, the, the uh, Browns... Uh, Got rid of their kicker this week too, because okay, think of this: if he makes two kicks, mm-hmm. all he has to do is make two kicks. Mm-hmm. The Browns can be two and zero right now, because one of those kicks, the last kick last week, was in overtime. If they would have done that, I think they would have beaten uh, New Orleans by two points or something like that. So the Browns are a kicker. I never thought I'd hear myself say this: the Browns are a kicker away from being a good team. <laughs> They went toe to toe. I'll, I'll say decent. They went toe to toe with Pittsburgh, and they went toe to toe with New Orleans. I know New Orleans doesn't have the best defense in the world, but when you go up against Drew Brees and you barely lose to him by like two points, it's true. I mean, good God, good God. Just the, the Browns are potentially a kicker away from speaking of the Browns being good. They gave away Josh Gordon. Oh, they gave away Josh Gordon for nothing. Peanuts. I don't even, did we even figure out what they got rid of him Yeah, uh, Patriots gave away a fifth round pick. You gotta be shitting me. But here's the thing. If he's not active for at least ten games this season with you, the Patriots. You get a pick back? Or they get a seventh round back. Seventh round, how? So you pretty much, okay. if it doesn't work out, you just don't start him those last few weeks. And you're good. You just get a pick. You, you guys have it back. And like, there's literally like no risk here for the Patriots. There's no, and of course, you know, I don't know. Will he make all the difference in the world in that roster? I don't know. I think Josh Gordon's a freakish athlete when he stays on the field. If he can really off the weed. He's an addict. He's he an addict. Did you hear his like regimen that he used to do when he first got drafted? Mm-mm. He said like he'd wake up that morning, he'd smoke a bowl, <laughs> and then he would he would drink like a fifth of vodka or, or a fifth of whiskey, and then smoke another bowl, and then go to the field and do like, you know, kind of like practice routes and stuff like that. And then apparently he would take another shot before kickoff. And then at halftime, he would take another shot. So I, I, was, watching, I was listening on the what Jim the Rome hell? show, and I was like, the, Jim Rome was like, you know, that, that's a terrible thing for me to say. He's like, but it worked for you. It did work for me. <laughs> it's it was like, really good. He's like, you were, I was like, you were, that's your best whenever you did that. He's like, yeah, that was my regimen every single week was to do that. And then after the game, he would go home and he would get, he would get high and then he would get drunk after the games. Well, I'd get, I'd get drunk after, if I played for Cleveland. Like, oh, God. That's back when they used to win. Four or five games a year. <laughs> That's sad. But uh, I, I, I mean, Maybe. if anyone can make get something out of him, I think it's Belichick and Brady. I mean, but unfortunately, this is the best quarterback he's had throwing to him. So. Unfortunately, he's got to pick a new number because he can't have twelve. That's uh, TB twelve. That's true. That's TB twelve. I, I, the last time Josh Gordon won a game was twenty fourteen. Jesus Christ! I really, I, but of course, he hasn't been on the field in what two and a half years or something like that. Oh, they didn't win last year either. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so two years. Um, so honestly, I mean, uh, Brady is known for taking mediocre wide receivers and making them great. Imagine what he can do with a great wide receiver and making him. Yeah, people were saying this is like the best receiver he's had since Moss. Oh yeah, Randy Moss was that was a probably the heaven. best wide receiver he's had. Well, Edelman is up there, but Edelman just you know. I thought Edelman was more of a product. Edelman is, is Ant Man. He can squeeze into tight spaces. And they get him back in two weeks. But Patri- everyone's hitting panic button on the Patriots. I think they'll be Why fine. Why don't they're, they're fine? They everyone thought they were going to be awful last year, and, look, yeah. and they found themselves in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm going to say what Mark Holmes on YouTube, well, on here says, is technically September is kind of like the preseason 2.0. Yeah, you find out what teams really look like in October. 
Yeah. When when the team is like two and two or one and three in October, then you might want to hit the panic button. That's probably a bad sign. But if they're three and one or four and oh, you might have a damn good team by the time the Super Bowl comes around. That's true. But I mean, it, you just got to wait. You have to wait and see because preseason is kind of like the or, or uh, September is kind of like the time where it's just like. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll plug in this. We'll do this and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we can you know, get rid of it all the system. You know stuff like that. So, yeah, wait till October. If the Patriots go like one and three in October, then you might want to hit the panic button. But until then, just shh, it's going to be okay. It's going to uh, be okay. I have one more thing to discuss before we talk about our teams. Okay. I just, I just keep adding stuff. I think about just keep adding stuff. What what's a legal hit on the quarterback? What's a legal hit? Because I don't know if you watched the game versus Minnesota. Oh, Green I did. Bay. You I saw, saw Clay Matthews, oh. his roughing the pass. What do you do there? There was nothing illegal about. That. He didn't even land on him with his full body. Like, what do you do there? Uh, apparently, because he kind of like lifted him off the ground. Apparently, it's that's so excessive. Stupid. I watched it when my first gut reaction was that was a clean. That's normal. That was a clean hit. That's fine. It's no big deal. He it's, didn't come in late. Like he he lunged before the while the ball was still in his hand. Yeah, it's not like the ball went out for a second. Apparently, you know, kind of like coasting him up was the problem. If he would have just like drug him into the ground, I think it would have been like okay. that. Like that cost him the game. Oh, it did because it that, that would have been an interception, and then the game's over. Oh my gosh! Like I, I mean, but I mean, Skip Bayless did bring up a very valid point. He's like, oh, this is the team. That you know, it's the, they're the reason the rule they're exists. The, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is the reason that this rule exists. Let's be freaking honest here. Aaron Rod, he's a great football player. Don't get me wrong, and I hate it when he plays against the Cowboys because he finds a way to beat us with he four seconds. Play. He loves playing. Four know. seconds left on the clock, one eye shut, and Half hopping leg. on one leg. Like, is, my leg. He he will find a way to kill us with four seconds left on the clock. But he's a crybaby. You saw that week one. I mean, he was kind of moping. And, well, I mean, I would too if, you know, I wasn't able to play for my team. Oh, yeah. And then he saw it this week. He was kind of a crybaby. Kind of a, kind of a, kind of a jackass. Um, but, I mean, the rule exists. You get what you you get what you get ask for, and then you cry when it's used effectively. It just kind of just... So, I don't know. I just don't think it's being used effectively. Again... I mean, I mean what's... What are you... You can't... They can't even come out and tell players what they can and can't do. You've got to say please first. I mean, so I'm gonna sack you, please. Let's just give the quarterbacks flags. Yeah, let's just give them flags. Rip off the flag. You can't touch the quarterback no more. Oh, you know, like like flag football. That's what that's what we're playing. Are they definitely what we're playing? We're playing, you know, glorified, I mean, glorified flag football. Like, it's interesting. I, I'm not you know, saying that the rule is you know efficient or the rule is you know rule is, is gold. It's etched in, in stone. But I mean, it just. The NFL's got an identity crisis right now. Some some of the, some of the play calling we, and some of the at least we fixed the catch thing. We know what a catch is, but uh, so far there have been a couple of catches that have been like that. there's been a couple of catches that have bounced off the ground into the receiver's like chest, and they're like, "Oh, it's a catch." Like, really? <laughs> I mean, they're never gonna figure it out with all this technology. I wish we had no technology. No technology. Okay, let's talk about one more thing before we, one more thing before we get to our team. One more thing. There's a Belichick book out. A Belichick book. Be- let's see. It. Let's see. What was it called again? Let's see. Belichick. Belichick. Tell me it was just Belichick. It's uh. Let me see. Here we go. Belichick, the making of the greatest football coach of all time. Good tagline. I want to read this book so bad. I, I might actually get it on audio book. That's what I say. Why do you have to do audible? But because apparently there, it like describes the relationship between Brady and Belichick and how Brady thought he was to be pushed out of uh, New England, just how Peyton was and in Indy. And how he went like straight to Robert Kraft to get Jimmy G traded. Which I mean was kind of. I mean, do you think that was okay for Brady to be like, "Hey, listen, I don't. I want this guy out because he's a threat to me." I mean, do you think that's okay though? Not. I don't think it's good. I think you should talk to Belichick about it. I think going straight over Belichick and straight to Kraft. I think you should talk to Jimmy about it. Well, that's true. I don't know if they ever had a conversation with that. Well, because we don't know how how Jimmy feels about Tom Brady. I bet if you ask him, he's always oh, a great guy. But behind closed doors, when he's you know with his uh, his uh, porn star uh, dinner dates, he's he's probably you know shooting you know bullets into the wall with a picture of Tom Brady on it. Or maybe he's like he's like Ray Finkel in a 
Um, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. He just has a whole room dedicated to fuck Brady. Hey, you, Brady, die. Yeah, I, feel, I, feel bad cause I feel bad for Belichick because he put all his time in developing Jimmy G. And Brissett. And Brissett. They lost two. They lost two. Two potential starting quarterbacks. And it just all because they wanted to keep the goat, which, I mean, it's fine. But after a while, you're going to have to take that goat behind the barn and just. I mean. They're going to have to draft a new quarterback because they have no backup plan now. They, don't, I mean, they have Brian Hoyer. But yeah, but he's not the future. No, Brian Hoyer is. I was saying, so I mean. He's, he's the king on the sidelines as we speak. But, I mean, honestly, you should have. I mean, it kind of reminds me of that scene from A uh, League of Their Own where Dottie goes in there and, 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 and the guy's like, oh, you want Kit gone? And then. Yeah. Kit gets traded. Hmm. That's kind of how I thought. And then, you know, Kit walks into the room and like throws so, a baseball through a window. Although he, she you wa- bitch! <laughs> <laughs> although, the, for, you know, she's the one that wanted to be traded. She didn't want her sister. She didn't want Kit to be traded or whatever. No, yeah, she wanted to be traded. I got yeah. you in this league, God damn it! She got her in the league! <laughs> she got him in the league! <laughs> I love that movie. Gonna We're gonna win! We're gonna win! You That's are gonna Belichick. lose! You're Jimmy Dugan is Belichick. We're gonna win! <laughs> We're gonna win! <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, so that was the last how, time. How much time we in? We are at 16 minutes exactly. Okay, well, I got an hour till work, so we got like 30 minutes left. All right, cool. Until I, I guess to leave it. Okay. Gets to go. So we'll do a quick overview of our teams. Okay. You go first. Okay. The Titans are one. Titans <laughs> one. Yeah. I'm so excited. And the fact that it's one thing to beat Houston, which feels so good. It's another thing to do it with the playing Gabbert. No, 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 no pineapple king this week. Yeah. No Delaney Walker. We had our second string left tackle, right. our third string right. We just pulled someone in to play right tackle. We're like, because uh, Dennis Kelly, he has hospitalized with an illness all weekend. Our oh. backup left, uh, right tackle, because Carlson's still hurt. Oh. But so we pulled him in. We pulled some guy in on Thursday. Hey, want to come play? Like, yeah. You're gonna go up against JJ Watt all day on Sunday. Good luck. What? <laughs> what? I believe in you. And the, the fact no. that we only gave up one sack, I was so happy. You are the team. Remember that? I am so proud of our offensive line right now. I mean, now. yeah, it was a very impressive. I got to watch parts of it, but not the whole game. But what I saw from y'all, I was impressed. And apparently y'all had a badass fake punt that I missed. We did. Oh, so, it was beautiful. I was like, damn. 60-yard Six, touchdown. It sucks that I missed that. Oh, that was beautiful. And then intercepted Watson. Fuller raped us, but that was about <laughs> it. Fuller. Pick him up a fantasy. Uh, <laughs> Can't beat him, join him. But I mean, ah, uh, it was, it was just. I want, Mar- I want Mario to back, but at least it's, it's good to have a decent backup. For oh, him. because you got like Gabbert's kind of like a kind of like a game manager, I think. Like, I like Gabbert can make every throw. His accuracy is his question mark, but he's not. He's serviceable. He can pick up. He can with his feet. He can pick up uh, yeah. yards. Uh, like he's more than serviceable. Last year, I, I started a franchise right before Madden 19 came out for Madden 18. Mm. And uh, did a fantasy draft with the Cowboys. And Tom Brady was my Perfect. first pick overall. Oh, yeah. And then he went down with a fractured fractured uh, collarbone. Peyton, he didn't get hurt. He had a fractured collarbone. I'm like, it's Tom Brady. He gets hurt one time in his career. So he's 41 in the game. Yeah. So And then Gabbert comes in, and I think we went like we went like 7-2 and two with playing Gabbert. And okay. we won the Super Bowl with playing Gabbert. I was like, oh. Good for him. Okay. Good for him. And, yeah, Brady, he was out to like week three yeah, the next year. So. Yeah. So no, I was, I like I said, I, that's all I'm gonna say with the Titans because it's quick, it's easy. Yeah. So go t- tighten up. We play Jacksonville this week. Oh god. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. We gonna lose. It's fine. <laughs> Calling you up. Cowboys won. <laughs> Cowboys did win. How about them Cowboys, Chris? How about them? The cow. Like okay, honestly. I'm not, you know, reading too much into this. Some, some Cowboy fans are freaking out right now. You think we're going right. to go to the Super Bowl? It was the Giants. I saw it the was, most. I saw the most. Uh, this is why I hate Cowboy fans. I saw the most. We're kind the of dumbest stuck. fucking com- I'm sorry for my language. The dumbest fucking comment can, on Facebook today, on the other day. It was pictures like Zeke with a little bra Cowboy shirt on. I brought a lift shirt. Whatever the fuck. It's whatever the hell it is. It looks like a bra. It looks like a training bra. Either way, it looks weird. Either way. Your beard is weird. Your beard. And he has a little fucking, like, <laughs> weird hair. Got a little Either, weird hair. <laughs> the hell is a, a man can play. He's dressed as weird. Uh, he's a funky looking dude with his hourglass face. Either way. He's a gremlin. <laughs> yeah, I can still play that. I'm still like Zeke. But, I saw the stupid comment. Zeke and Dak are going to be the greatest running back, quarterback combination in history. Like, I think that belongs to Aikman and Emmett. I was like, that's, that's just, that's, a, that's, that's my opinion. But, I, 
for a little while, I would argue Falk and Warner for a couple years when they were together. Yeah. That was really good. Oh, I thought you were talking about Cowboy Wise. Oh, oh, I was, no, no, this is just in general. Oh, of all time? This is in general. Of all time? I mean, I was, Aikman and Emmett's a good one. Two Hall of Famers. Those, yeah, the, the running back quarterback, Joe, yeah, Aikman and, and Emmett. They're, and, then they're like, and then this guy's like, I'm not, and then like everyone's giving him so much shit. Even like Cowboy fans are giving him shit. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not saying they won't struggle, but I'm saying at least four rings with these guys. Like, four rings? With these guys? I mean, it's, are you kidding me? I don't even think Zeke would last for four rings. I'm pretty sure the running back shelf life ain't that long. Well, I mean, Emmett got what? He, he got, got, he got, three, got three, in, three and four years. Three and four years. So it's y'all possible. But y'all ain't there. But, I mean, not the we're NFC. definitely not there. I mean, it's all the AFC, maybe. Defensive <laughs> wise, like, I mean, our defense is playing lights out. And um, I've been informed oh, that we're only going to get healthier because we're getting Irving back. We're getting Gregory back from injury. And um, Xavier Woods is coming back from injury. But Kayvon Frazier is kicking ass right there in the backfield. So I don't know if we want to bring him back to start anyway. But we're, you know, the Calvary's coming. We got a, we got a few people coming off injury and suspension that are going to only make that defense better. Mm-hmm. I love that we got six sacks. And I believe all six sacks were from six different players, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So. Yeah. Chicago got six sacks too. Yeah, they did. Fucking Khalil Mack. Poor Russell Wilson. And I try to get Chicago's defense, but somebody won't trade them to me. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Assholes. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, it, again, it was just the Giants. Eli Manning's offensive line. His face though. Suspect. That was funny. That <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the hit Jalen Smith got on him. I was like, uh, was like yeah, I remember. mean, I just felt bad for Eli. He was on the sidelines. He's all sweaty and he's all. He was getting killed. Mouth hanging out. I mean, his tongue hanging out. Just, he was, I mean, he had no help. That line's awful. I mean, he, I mean, the guy, of course, has two Super Bowls. The only reason he has the two Super Bowls is the defense. I'm, and they made that's two good my throws. story, and I'm sticking to it. He made two good throws. Two good throws in that defense are the only reasons he has Super and Tyree, Bowls. And whatever. Tyree Kill and uh, Manningham. Mario Manningham, I think is this other guy. Isn't Tyree Kill the dude from KC? Not Tyree. <laughs> David Tyree, <laughs> David Ty- Hell, Tyree, Tyree Hill. He was he's probably in high school. No, he's probably middle school when that happened. <laughs> probably, damn, because I think I was in middle school when that Super Bowl happened. Yeah, I um, but I mean it. It he, I feel bad for the guy. I mean he's good. He's a Manning, so he's he's royalty. He's, he's football he's royalty. royalty, even though he's like he, he, he's royalty in Oxford. Even that. though he's 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 the Prince Harry of the uh, the family. That's true, because you know Peyton is. William. William Peyton, yeah, Peyton is king. Uh, but I did like a few things. I would like for Scott Linehan to stop doing bullshit plays and just stick with the game plan Preach. and run it down their throat, run it down their throat, run it down their throat. I said last week in my video, my solo video, I forgot to do one this week. My bad. That we're a run football team first, and we got to act like a run football team first, and then. Obviously, uh, Landon Collins, you know, saying that, oh, we're just going to put the ball in Dak's hands if we're going to win. Dak proved your ass wrong, especially with that 64-yard touchdown. <laughs> just put, put the ball in Dak's hands and we're going to win. Uh, and then Dak also, you know, picked up a shit ton of yards with his feet. Two, uh, what, they have, like, two rushes for 28 yards or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the dude was almost averaging 15 yards a freaking run. So, oh, yeah, definitely. so I mean, it... It's a it's a good step forward after what I saw from Seattle, and that's who we play this week. Get more to that. Get okay, more yeah. to that later. Are you, are you gonna do it? Let's go ahead and do the picks. So we're at okay. twenty three and a half. All right, cool. It'll be a short one this week, just because I have work. Yeah, Chris has work, and I got chill was well, not really chores. Just <laughs> shit to do. Just got shit to do around the house before I have to work. Uh, I'm next to me, Chandler over there. Let's see. Sports. NFL sports. Sports. Uh, here we go. Uh, starting off week three, Colin. We have. Oh, oh, you want to say it? How's it? No, you, you want to say. It? Who you got? There you go. Oh, sorry. Uh, you, we should get a shirt that says "Who you got? Who you got?" I just wish we like iterate that. Okay. Uh, 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 uh that's up. Uh, Thursday night. Ugh. Jets and Browns. John, that's awful. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Jets. I don't know what the Browns are going to do with their kicking situation. Again, the kicking situation is all that they're lacking right now. But, I mean, Sam Darnold has always been known to lose and then come back gloriously. I say he, has, he always comes back. He always he did it at USC all the time. How, how did Darnold end up, let me look real quick. How did Darnold end up doing last week? I think, he, I think he had one touchdown, two picks. 
Uh, he looked but good. he's the youngest quarterback to throw for 300 plus yards back to back weeks. I said he went 25, 30, 25, 41, 330 yards, touchdown, two picks. So, I mean, yeah. So yeah. I mean, he's good. He's he's, he's a damn he'll good be, quarterback. He'll be fine. That will that will probably hopefully be their franchise quarterback going forward. He would. There's so many teams that want one. Need a franchise quarterback. I need one. I need. I want one. So I want Aaron I'm gonna go with the Jets, but I mean. Honestly, if the Browns can figure out their kicking game within this week, then I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns were to you know, sneak and eke a win. Because at the beginning of the year, I probably would have picked the Browns in this game. Before the season started, I probably would have picked the Browns. You know what? I'm picking the Browns. Woo! Brownies on the board! I mean, this is the first time I've ever, first on this program, I've ever picked the Browns I think to I, win a game. I, think, I don't think I've ever picked them yet. I don't think I've picked them yet. I am, I am taking a risk. They look. They have a tie, for God's sake. They, they have a tie and a loss. They should have beat the Saints. They should have beat the Saints. They should have beat <sighs> Pittsburgh because they had five. Like, they had five turnovers against that's Pittsburgh. Just, that's just like a. That's just like an essence of Cleveland yeah. as a city. But yeah, yeah New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah, but they missed three kicks against New Orleans. That is nine points on the board. That means they probably would have beat New Orleans by a touchdown. Potentially more, if not more. All right, here All right, we go. There you go, Chris. Hop it on the brownie bandwagon. You know what's sad? What's sad? They're a three-point favorite, and then the next game I'm about to read, I feel like it should be a bigger favorite than that, but yeah. it's not. Titans at Jaguars? The Jaguars are only a one-point favorite. Really? Well, uh, Monday night, that was even. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Jags, because I just don't know y'all's uh, Marcus situation yet. Mm. I don't know if he, he if he's going to be able to, I don't know, maybe they should just get him just uh, Anakin Skywalker arm for right. a little bit. Just give the, the mechanical arm. Okay, well, we're going to be opposite two games in a row. Okay. I'm taking the Titans. Taking the Titans? I understand. I, I, went, I hopped on them last week, and it did good. I'm going to pick them again this week. Yeah, but Jacksonville beat the, beat the Goats. You know what? We sweep the Jags. We, we, we sweep the Jags last year. People yeah, seem yeah, to forget that. Yeah, and know. we in, early, in September last year in Jacksonville, we beat them like 34 to 17. Okay. So, we're getting LeJuan back this week. Hit LeJuan. Because uh, he's, he's going to practice today. He's out of the concussion thingy. Thank God. Thing. Protocol. <laughs> uh, thing. He's back. Uh, Kelly, our backup right tackle, is back. Even Conklin is supposed to get some playing time this week. That's just that's good. Okay. Marcus is doing better. It's still unknown if he'll play. And even if he doesn't, uh, I guarantee you, Blaine Gabbert's going to want to beat Jacksonville. Is it Jacksonville. Oh well, yeah, team. it's his old team. And he beat Jacksonville with Arizona last year. So maybe he's so, maybe he's the uh, Jag beater. That's uh, that's what I'm thinking, man. We just need a rest here when we play the Jags. I just remember that. I remember last year when Mario just stiff armed the hell out of uh, what's his name. He's a little cowboy dude. You now he plays for the Jags. He played for y'all. Uh, church, he, church. Yeah, church. He, he took him to church. He took him to church. Take me to church. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Titans in that. So one. maybe Blaine Gabbard is you know just walking through the jungle with a tranquilizer rifle and the Jag. <laughs> right. It, it, okay. Pass it. Pass it. Saints and Falcons. Damn man. I think I'm going to go with, you know, first top of my head, I think I'm going to go with the Saints. Mm-hmm. The Again, the defense is very suspect, very, very suspect for the, the Saints. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, Atlanta, I mean, we'll see what happens with Atlanta. They haven't really impressed me that much thus so, far. So who you got? And New Orleans. I got Noel. We are three games. Nola! Up. We, this is a big week for us. Yeah, we're tied, so we're going to have a lot of different I'm going games. with Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> Go with hot Atlanta. I mean, I was a little worried because it didn't have Foreman last, or whatever his name is last Freeman. Freeman last yeah. week. But Coleman ran for 100 yards, so obviously it doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to go Atlanta. They beat they beat Carolina. Is that, it's in Atlanta. I think they got this. I get that dirty hit on Cam Newton, though. Uh, dude, dirty that, birds. That was so Dirty rough. birds. I think I was sliding for like, you could, you could tell he was sliding. <laughs> and then, I'm like, bro. And then Cam, There's a reason that guy got ejected. I think Cam was like, what was that scene from the Little Giants? Oh man, knocked him back to the third grade, or something. Like that. Knocked like, him back to the first God, grade. That was dirty. Cam Newton's like, I don't want to do mathematics, <laughs> Mrs. Johnson. Oh shit, knocked him back to the first grade. Uh, here we go. You go crown the car. Next game, the undefeated Packers. Undefeated Packers. <laughs> one on one. <laughs> the undefeated Packers versus the, the Redskins. I'm gonna go with go Pack go. Yeah, there's no reason to pick. Redskins. I mean the Redskins. Z- 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 I mean a lot of people are like, yeah, Alex Smith. Mm. Yeah, now they're like, oh, Alex Smith. Nah, not so much. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pretty much straight cousins for cousins. Yeah. Hey, cousins is balling right now, yeah, Minnesota. He got like, he got the perfect team. He has a better team. He got Stephon. He got he and Stephon. 
damn good chemistry with each other right well, so now. Evan Thielen do too. Both, they're both doing good on fantasy. And then you got Rudolph as a safety blanket. What'd you say? He's hooked on a Thielen? Yeah. And Rudolph the red zone receiver? Rudolph the red zone receiver. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph the red zone tight end, tight end. Anyway. We'll get more to that. We'll, we'll dedicate a whole Christmas song to Rudolph oh, during dear. Christmas. That's awesome. If, if, okay, they, if uh, they keep this up. <laughs> I mean, the prodigal son returns this week, Colin. He does. Colts versus Philly. Ooh. Actually, was asking me last night, like, you think he didn't have any rust? It's like, if it was a shoulder injury, yeah. I would think he might be rust. But he's been able to throw all offseason, so I think he'll be fine. I mean, he'll be fine. Uh, and that, because of that, I'm going to say Philly. Uh, I would. I probably wouldn't have picked Indy anyway, but Indy looked good last week. I would have picked Indy if it was uh, Foles. Okay, if it was Foles, yeah. I would have picked Indy. I bet Foles is like, finally. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. So Thank can you. I just go back to the sidelines and hold my clipboard? He probably misses his clipboard. So I missed my clipboard. That's awful. I bought it. I it's, bought it. it's cherry wood. It's got Super Bowl MVP written on it. Yeah. It's like, who's the best? <laughs> I am. Oh, shit. Carson's back. He's got a picture of the little Philly Philly. Yeah. Philly Philly. He's got a picture of him, you know, catching the ball. Yeah. And he's all like, he's caressing it and crying. Like, oh, jeez. I miss you. No, but, no, but. I mean, Wentz is a, Wentz is a superstar. I mean, I mean, yeah, Wentz is a damn good quarterback. And hopefully that, like, I mean, mm-hmm. one of my biggest fears is a quarterback coming back from injury, re-injuring himself. Yeah. Because that's what happened with Tony Romo when he came back for the Thanksgiving game against the Panthers and he re-injured himself. I was like, mm-hmm. Okay, I already wrote in your pick for the next game. I'm just going to assume. Okay. Those are the Vikings. I don't think you're going to take Buffalo. Uh, but, but, I mean, Vikings might be pissed. Oh, yeah, they are. I mean, they, they, anyway, I, just, I mean, I've never seen Kirk Cousins mad, and he was actually kind of mad after that. You like that. He was kind of, kind of. He was kind of pissed. He was like, kind of heated with that one. But you like that. Uh, he, was, he was mad after this game. I was like, well, the kicker can't do his job. You set him up twice. No. You set up with a 33 yeah. yard field goal. Now they have Dan Bailey, so. 33 yard field goal. The guy missed it. Oh, yeah, definitely. And coming from experience, I'm going to cry a little bit. Y'all treat my boy right. I'm going to laugh when he comes out. It's like his first like, 10, 45 yard field goal. I'm like, eh, y'all messed up. Bailey <laughs> is such a good pickup for y'all. Bailey is going to do wonders for y'all. And then we got to watch him miss, like, watch him miss, like, all three of the field goals. Like first extra point. And then they lose. They lose. The freaking... They lose. Those are the Bills. The Bills are the yeah. worst team in the league. Those are the new Cleveland. Yeah, Bills are the new They're going to go from 9-7 and seven to 0-16. Oh, and 16. oh, that blows. That, that poor fan base, though. Yeah, that's why I moved them to Toronto. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, here we go. Oh, so. Bailey. Pasta? Pasta? Question mark? I mean, not really, but... Yeah. Uh... The dumpster fire that is the Oakland Raiders versus Miami Dolphins. I go with Dolphins. Dolphins are two and zero. I can see them easily going three and zero with this game. I just Gruden. I, I think it was a mistake. Like from the beginning when they signed him, I do a ten year, ten million dollars per year contract. I was like completely guaranteed. Completely guaranteed. So if they fire him within like the next two or three years, the, y'all still have to pay that son of a bitch eighty to ninety yeah, it's a million dollars. Which I mean, <laughs> it's fine with me. Like I would, I would suck on purpose, and then I yeah. just click that little. Alimony pony, <laughs> little paycheck, right. you know, year after year, the ten million dollar paycheck every year. But uh, I mean, I know. What's funny is, uh, Khalil Mack has as many sacks as the entire Oakland Raiders <laughs> defense. He has as many interceptions as the Oakland defense. Would you say that he's trying to prove himself? He was asked about that. He's like, no, no, I, I didn't think about that. I was like, whatever, Mac. You know your toes. It's like you that. have, you have like, okay, you have like a, a girlfriend, right? Yeah, and she's like. Theoretically, I'm not talking about your girlfriend. Your girlfriend is very pretty. But say the random random Joe Schmo has a girlfriend, and she's about like a five or a six. Okay. And then you realize that you you don't realize that you had such a good thing, and then you're like, you know what, baby, you go. I'm sorry, this isn't working. You go someplace else. And then she goes, and then she gets like a makeover, and you know she gets a, yeah. she gets a new outfit, she gets a new makeover, a new she moves away, and then she becomes like a fucking eleven out of ten. I fucking love that analogy. And she's just, just beautiful. She's, you know, winning beauty pageants, you know, wowing the world. I fucked up. And then you're sitting in your bedroom alone, staring at a picture of her like, I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> I'm sure that's how they're feeling. I mean, there you go. It's a good analogy. I think I said that it they, they let the best linebacker football go. Yeah. So. Just, and then now he has more. He grew, he grew like, oh, we're good to trade. He's like, I would. 
And then he's probably in his office going, God, I'm it. You know, vein popping out of his head. Right. Oh, his little chucky face. Son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not good. Okay, so yeah. Open ball. Khalil Mack is, is the one that got away. Shut yeah. up, Google. <laughs> uh, toss up. Toss up. But somehow 2 0 Broncos versus the Ravens. I think the, <clears throat> I only think the Broncos are 2 0 because they've played at mile high both times. They have. And this is at Baltimore. This is at Baltimore. I think they finally lose. I think they do too. I think they finally lose. Which, when are we going to see Lamar Jackson? When do you think? A lot of people are saying like week five, week six. But I, mean, I, don't think you only, I think you only see him if they're an absolute dumpster fire. Well, I know, but still, I mean. There's no point to pull Flacco. I mean, I've never been a Flacco guy, and never have I ever been a Flacco yeah, but guy. Yeah, but... So, I mean, I kind of want to see Lamar Jackson just because I think it's time for them to go to the next level, the next chapter of the franchise. But that's just me because I've never been a Flacco guy. I've always thought he was just a mediocre quarterback, uh, he's honestly. Like, he's like Falco. He's like Falco. No, I like Shane Falco <laughs> better than I like Flacco. <laughs> that's Sugar Bowl. That's Sugar Bowl. Did anybody have anything better to do that game? No. that. Watch the Sugar Bowl. But uh, the the Ravens are like three and two for five weeks. You can't put Lamar in. Okay, but or maybe like you know, like if like if if the season's lost at any point, if they're like at, completely out of play, if they're like if they're like five and set, like five and eight or so, yeah, or they, after week thirteen, put them in for the last three games. See what you got. I mean, or they could be like you know the uh, the nineteen uh, the nineteen seventies Cowboys. Let's just play with two quarterbacks and see what happens. And we we do. Got, I think we, you know what they say when you got two quarterbacks, you got no quarterbacks. Yeah, okay, that's true. Okay, but yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna pick Baltimore. Uh, here we go. Yeah, toss it. Bengals and Panthers. They only two and zero. Panthers are one. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on the Bengal bandwagon. Ooh. I think I think the Bengals are gonna go three and zero. Um, honestly, I don't know. Cam Newton might still be picking the cobwebs out of his head because that dude took a vicious bullshit dirty hit from a dirty bird. That's true. So I, oh, uh, they they didn't really impress me when they were playing against the Cowboys. Of course, you know our defense did quite well, but I mean the Bengals. I mean, when when they get hot, Red Rifle gets hot, and uh, this is not in prime time, uh, which apparently he's been cured of the prime time blues. So I mean, if Andy Dalton. I mean, to be fair, this is my this is what our very first pick of twenty sixteen. This is the year after they went twelve and four. This was my Super Bowl pick two years ago. Well, freaking Cincy. There you go. But, but I, mean, I don't think they're going to Super Bowl. I'll go with Carolina. Well, okay, go with Carolina. I go with Carolina simply because they're at home. Okay, Carolina's at that home. That is literally the only reason okay. I'm doing it. I, I mean, but if Cincy won, would I be surprised? No. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm no, a I'm Black Belt Brides fan, and uh, Andy Beersack, the lead singer, is a huge Cincinnati Bengals fan. So I'm kind of rooting for Cincinnati this year. Mm-hmm. That and my friend Scott, he's he's a Bengals fan too. Here we go. Valley O twos. O twos blues. Giants and Texans. I go Texans. You know, the, it just makes me Okay. I mean the Cowboys, I mean y'all you know, we had, you know, Demarcus Lawrence Lawrence and a couple of other people. Mm-hmm. They got Clowney and JJ Watt. Well Clowney, is he okay? Is he well, Clowney missed this week, but he should be back for okay. this week. JJ Watt, I would not be surprised if he got at least a couple of swats and at least the sacker. Although to be fair, they couldn't do anything against our misfits on them. I mean, they couldn't do anything against a third string tackle. Well, maybe your third string tackle could be a first string for someplace else. Well, <laughs> we, just, maybe, we just don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it could but, be the uh, uh, the, the Willie, I, Willie I, Beeman. I want you to know how happy it is for me. I think oh, Houston's gonna go twelve and four. Everyone says this. Oh, Houston's gonna be the best team in the AFC. Yeah, it makes me so happy that they're zero and two. Well, yeah, I get it. Makes it. me so happy that we beat them. Just wait till October, and then we'll see. But I'm so happy. Right now, I, I completely understand, but and you know I think what? Houston finally gets on the board. I, think I had Houston. I'm picking New York Giants. I hate, I hate Houston. So. <laughs> he hates them that much. Hey, every wow. time I picked against them so far this year, they've won. Uh, there I you picked go. the Patriots. I picked Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll go zero sixteen. Maybe uh, probably not. <laughs> they play the Bills at some point, <laughs> so. We all play the Bills. So, okay. Um, Arizona. Okay, right, Houston. Alright. Niners and Chiefs. Hmm, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Specifically KC. for Hunt and Hill. Hill and Hunt. Hunt Hill. Hunt Hill and Mahomes. Don't forget that, you know, Kelsey. Kelsey. I they, mean, they got pretty, they got a four, good foursome right there of offense right there. Yeah, they do. Um, What'd you wink at me when I said foursome? 
dirty boy. <laughs> dirty, dirty boy, Chris. <laughs> I think you know. I think you know. So, yeah, definitely because, I mm. mean, even though Kansas City is, what, what's their record right now? They have 2-0. 2-0? Oh. Okay. So, yeah, definitely Kansas City. Yeah, definitely, yeah I think the Mahomes show is actually doing pretty good, but we'll see. Give it. I mean, oh, yeah. I was people. I was reminded. I mean, Jimmy G was undefeated. Oh wait, they had tape all off season. Now he's not undefeated anymore. No, he's not. Freaking Dak was twenty four touchdowns, like or twenty six touchdowns, and four interceptions rookie year. Last year, not so much. No. Tape and uh, Deshaun Watson, same thing. Tape does a lot of stuff. It, it it helps and it hurts. So we'll see. I mean, for an for this season, I think KC is legit. Yeah. So I'm going KC. I'm on the KC bandwagon fan. <laughs> Fuck you, Kenneth. I'm saying right now, fuck you, Kenneth. He just declined my trade offer. What did you offer him? I offered him Russell Wilson and Alex Smith for Fitzpatrick. He said no? He said no. Great. He doesn't need two quarterbacks. But I mean, it's still just sweeten the deal a little bit. Okay. You could flip them each week. Make yourself better, feel better. I, I'm, so, I'm going to say right now, fuck you, Kenneth. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, char- Ooh, Chargers or Rams? Rams. Rams. Rams, Rams, Rams. Wait, Rams. do we put L.A. or do we put L.A.R.? L.A.R. <laughs> Regardless, we're both going to win if you put L.A. I bet the L.A. team wins. L.A., yeah. It's good for the city of L.A. The Rams look good. <laughs> they look good. Well, of course they have, you know, the whole freaking payroll. I mean, themselves. who did they play last week? Who did the Rams play? I don't even remember who they played last week. Me and Esther were talking about it yesterday. I totally forgot already. Then they played Arizona. Yeah, they played Arizona. Oh, they, 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 Thirty-four they, to nothing. They swept them. They they clean slated those sons. Of Rams are gonna win the Super Bowl. Calling it right if, now. If they don't, then it's. I'd be know. surprised. Hopefully, it's not like another LA, like a like a Dodgers. Sorry, they're, they're all in, and then they suck. Yeah, they're like the best Sorry, team, Ashley. like the best team on the freaking you know planet when it comes to baseball last year, and then they don't do shit with it. No, well. that's because if you ask Ashley, it's because they. Started, they shouldn't have started Darvish in Game Seven. No, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Now he's with Chicago, and, and, he's, and, he's, and he's hurt. So yeah. he's been hurt all year. Uh, see okay, Rams win. Okay, Cowboys Seahawks. I'm gonna go Cowboys specifically because our defense versus that offense. I'm gonna go Cowboys just because. Well, there is no defense for <laughs> for, uh, for the, Seattle. There's no defense for Seattle. There's no offensive line for Seattle. No. And, I mean, uh, they are officially a dumpster fire. Uh, they are. They are who we thought they were. Yeah. The new. The new rumor is that we get Earl by week four. Yeah. See, I just don't see the thing is how good your defense is. Though I don't know if that mess with it. I don't know. I mean, we I don't could, know if that messes with chemistry. I mean, it could. I don't know because we got we got a, a second string uh, safety out there. right I mean, now. just just kick Keith out. But uh. just kick Keith out. He's a free safety. Is, um, it, is it what's his nuts? A strong safety? I don't know. Safety a safety. Safety's I've never safety. understood the difference. Yeah. One's free, one's strong. I'm strong. Yeah, like one like kind of stays like in the vicinity, and the other one can like go out and he's cover free. a receiver. Yeah. He's free. He's free to go cover. It's a strong one covers the uh, tight end. Yeah, the, the covers the, like, strong the tight end. Or strong side. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah, Cowboys won that one. Cowboys. Just, even though Seattle's a one and a half point favorite. Interesting. It's bullshit. Because it's in uh, Seattle. Uh, Bears versus Cardinals. Apparently, I think the Cardinals would be the worst. Ah, uh, Bears. Cardinals would be the worst team in football, too. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they'd be the worst team in the but, a- NFC. But Khalil Mack, man, might be all the difference. Uh, Chicago was already a top 10 defense last year. Now you added Khalil Mack. They're going to be a top 5, I bet. I'm calling it. No, it's good. No, good, Which, for, good did, for Chicago. Did I pick them last in that division? I'm sorry, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had them at third. I'm I, think sorry. I, had, I think I had Detroit last. I'm sorry that I picked y'all last, Chicago. You guys might get, like, second or third. <laughs> I don't, I don't think they get second. Wait till division play, but I mean, but uh, they did they did pretty well up until Aaron Rodgers got back week one. Well, but yeah, all right, here we go. The uh, the student versus the teacher, Patriots versus the Lions. Are you kidding me? It's even a question. Nope. I'm gonna go with the Lions. I'm just kidding. <laughs> New England. I think I think New England's gonna show them that you shouldn't have left. Well, and then freaking Belichick is probably going to know what he's doing. Yeah. Because he's been with the guy for what? How many a years? while. He's been his D coordinator for a long time. So, I mean, Belichick will probably figure his ass out before he can figure out Belichick. Like, I wonder how much these coordinators actually do for Belichick. And Belichick just does it all. Belichick's like, okay. Maybe there's a reason they do Belichick just hands him like a sheet. It's like, this is what you're going to call him. Maybe there's okay. a reason that the people don't do good. The disciples of Belichick don't do yeah. good. Belichick really just does it all. Well, like Cowher said, it was like, like, Belichick is not like a, you know, Give you a hug. How's the family? We should do lunch sometime. Type of coach. He's more of a get in here, do your job, and shut your fucking mouth. Don't get in my way. That's true. Type of guy. He runs a well-oiled machine there. He does. All right, here we go. 
Tampa Bay versus Steelers. Let's go Tampa! Who would have ever thought we picked Tampa over Steelers? The beard is weird, but I'm going to pick the beard over the... It's magic, man. It's, it's, it's real. Magic. Oh, my God. It looked like freaking Conor McGregor in that press conference. I love that Deshaun, Jack- Deshaun Jackson only has nine catches all year, but he leads the league in yards. Well, because of... Because they're bombs. The first play was a touch. It's like a 75-yard yard bomb. Touchdown for DJ. It's like, bro, his average personal reception is like 45 yards right now. <laughs> it's just insane. It is insane. So, I mean... I still love that meme where he, just, he looks like freaking Conor McGregor. He's like, who, like, who, like, who the fuck McGregor? is Jameis Winston? <laughs> I just love the, I love the photos like 2000, like, uh, it's sort of like New York Jets, uh, it's kind of, he's like, oh, weird looking or whatever. Yeah. This is like, new, new Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, it was like, oh, yeah, Sean Jackson went, Jack went down to Florida and he got swag. He's like, and, is any of that, in the, the poor thing, is any of that yours? Like, the chest hair's mine. The chest hair's mine. <laughs> or he said something about like, <laughs> So you said something about you like to drink chocolate milk, but it's not an outfit that you drink chocolate milk. And he's like, the boys still say they want chocolate milk. <laughs> I, like, I love Fitzpatrick. I do love Fitzpatrick. I mean, I, Winston who? And who the fuck is James Winston? I don't know. He should be working at a supermarket selling crab legs. He should be working uh, at the seafood department. Yeah. Maybe he'll get him for free, though. Yeah. Go get him an Uber driver. Yeah, go be an Uber, go be an Uber driver. Work at a supermarket at the seafood seafood uh, aisle. Um, uh, there's some, some uh, talks. People are like, oh, we should get him as a backup for Dak. Fuck no. Okay, how many minutes is that? Yeah, we're at 46 minutes. That's the max. I got to go. All right, guys. So those are our picks. Michael, Ashley, leave them. You know where to leave them. Uh, thank you guys so much once again for dropping by. And always remember, my little pig. Let's call him Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. And Big Bird says. Thanks. I'm just kidding. Make good choices, y'all. Make good choices, especially when it comes to pickums. All course. right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Chris has got to go to work, and I've got some stuff to do before I have to go to work. So, <gasps> bye, guys. My dick fell off. Every week. <laughs>